talk about just getting around Mars. So Mars is going to be where you write your assembly code and assemble it and run it. So first, let's just look at an existing assembly program. So go to open, find Fibonacci.asm. And so here you can see that we're in edit mode. So we can look at the actual text. Just like any other code editor, you can write your code in here. Now we can assemble our code so we can actually turn all the pseudo instructions into real instructions and find out what the binary representation is. So to do that, go to assemble and it'll bring you over to the execute tab. Now there's a few different windows here to pay attention to. The first one is the text segment. So this is going to be a view of memory looking at your code. And so you can see that every instruction is going to live at an address. And then here's the hex for the actual binary code for that instruction that the assembler outputted. And then here's the textual version of the instruction. And then that's corresponding to a line in your original source code file. So you can kind of see how stuff gets converted. For example, notice that your pseudo instruction load address actually got turned into two basic MIPS instructions, Louis and Ori. So from here, you can also set breakpoints so that when you run your code, it'll stop just like a breakpoint in other program debuggers. Okay, so the other thing to look at is the data segment. And this is going to be all the other parts of memory. So you can view the addresses on the left side, and then you can view the different words at the memory addresses along here. And you can even, so you can scroll up and down this memory, of course it's really big, so you might want to skip around using this drop down to get to different parts of memory. So we can go to where the static data lives, or we can go to where the dynamic data lives, or go to the current place in the stack, or we can even go look at the code. So this is the another view of the same stuff up here. Okay, the last thing to look at is the register window. So it's just going to tell you the textual name of the register, the underlying register number, which is the number that you would put inside of the code, the binary representation of the instruction, and then the current value stored in that register. So right now, most of these should be zero, except for a few of the system level registers and the stack register, but most everything else is going to start at zero. Okay, so that's showing you around Mars. Next, we're going to execute our program in, in the, the following video.